Hello everybody, I'm Swami here. Today, I'm going to show you discrete manufacturing in SAP. So how it is going to work in SAP. Before that, let me tell you what is discrete manufacturing. Discrete manufacturing is nothing but distinctive value. So a product which will be having a distinctive value, which can be touched, felt, or seen as an individual. So discrete means distinct. So that is distinct, discrete manufacturing. For example, discrete manufacturing is all, almost all the um, articles which was being manufactured is discrete manufacturing. Pen, pencil, laptop, mobile phones, everything are discrete, uh, discrete manufacturing. That is distinctive value, which is, which is having a distinct value, right? So now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to show that in SAP. So what are the steps I'm going to do is, I'm going to create a production order from the planned order. Planned order which was already created by me. Now I'm going to convert that planned order into production order. I'm going to issue raw material to the production order and going to do goods receipt on the production order as a finished goods and complete the production order, production order and close the production order. So I'm going to show that in the SAP system. Go to the SAP system. Enter MD16 transaction code for plant order. So display plant order. So plant 1000 MRP controller is the one who controls the MRP. Press enter. So these are the plant order. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 are all the plant order. So 1477 is the finished goods planned order, finished goods, and raw material is going to be 1478 is the raw material. I'm going to convert this production planned order to production order now. So this is the planned order. Planned order number is this. 36620 is the planned order number. Select on to this line item. Click here, change planned order. Now enter the storage location. I'm enter entering the storage location. Enter the production version. Production version is nothing but the version, production version. Save it. Change mode. I forgot to select this conversion indicator. So conversion indicator is the one which converts from planned order to the production order. So this is the place where it converts from planned order to the production order. Save it. Now I have saved it. This production order 36620 I have saved it. Now convert it to production order. Click on to convert to production order. See here production order. I'm converting it to production order. Just release the production order and save it. I'm just saving the production order. See production order create. So I'm creating a production order based on the planned order. You can create the production order in CO001 also. CO01, CO02, CO03. CO01 is create, CO02 is change, CO03 is display. See, this is the production order. 6000 is the production order. This is the production order. Now, based on this production order, this is the production order. I'm taking this production order. taking this production order. Based on this production order, I'm going to issue raw material to the production order. Go to MD1A. It's the transaction code for issuing raw material to the production order. See, movement type is 261 for production order. Plant is 1000. Solar location is 1110. Press enter. Now, enter the production order number. This is the production order number, which I have 
created earlier. So enter the raw material number. Raw material number is 1478. So only one raw material I have created in the bill of material. I have created for the training purpose, I have created only one raw material. This 1478 is the raw material. I'm going to issue the goods to the production order and I'm going to goods reserve the finished goods based on this raw material, right? So clear, is that clear? Okay, all right. So now I'm going to save this. Let me save this. I have issued goods to the production order. Now I'm going to do reserving. See, raw material is being issued. So the moment type is 261. So I have issued the raw material to the production order. Now I'm going to do goods reserved. That is, I'm going to get the finished product. Go to MD31. 101 is the moment type. Enter the production order. This is the production order, which I have created earlier. Press enter. See, 10, quantity is 10. Press enter, save it, save. So 10 quantity finished goods is being posted. We have done a goods receipt, 10 quantity finished goods. Let me check the inventory, go to slash and MMBE. See, 1477 is the finished goods. Executed. C20. Already 10 was there. Now another 10 more is being added. That is finished goods. Computer. Finished goods. See? Finished goods. So now check the raw material 1478. See? 980. It was previously 990. Now it has reduced to 980. What did it come out? Now go to production order, go to CO02. I'm going to make it as a technically complete. Technically complete. If you want to see the documents, go to header documents. No document exists, one minute. over the documents see documented goods movement go to go to the header do go to documents documented goods movement here you will be able to see goods issue as well as goods reserved see i have issued goods see 1478 is being issued Goods moment two, goods issue, goods issue. Okay, now four is goods reserved. I have done a goods reserved. See, goods reserved for production order. What order? Now come out, come out. I'm going to make it as a technically complete. Go to restrict processing functions, restrict processing, technically complete. Save it. I have done TECO, TECO. All right. Come back. TECO, TECO. DLV is deliver. Deliver. Goods movement posted. Material availability not checked. See, settlement rule created. Now come back. Back. If you want to see the settlement rule, go to header, check the settlement rule, see, MAT 1477 is the settlement rule. Come back, back, go to, I'm going to close the issue, close the production order. Before the, before closing the production order, you have to settle, go to KO 88, settle, settlement, you have to do settlement across the Production order execute. The settlement period is 
11 11 of this month number set and select test run executed determine variance before settlement see variance not be done so come out go to co02 press enter enter go to settlement rule enter here settlement rule ctr settlement receiver is 1000 right corporate service settlement rule this is cost center ctr is cost center okay you have to do this for settlement come back save it now you will be able to settle it come back go to ko88 unselect this test run execute so this is the actual settlement so once when you do this settlement you'll be able to close the production order now come out go to co02 i'm going to close this production order go to functions restrict processing close close the production order. see closed delivered now save it so that's the process over so again i'm repeating what i have done i have created a planned order based on the planned order i have created a production order i have issued a goods to production order that is raw material i have issued raw material i have issued to the production order and did a goods receipt on production order for finished goods finished goods so now i did complete i did techo T C O techo complete the production order technical completion i have done and i have done the settlement in the transaction code ko88 and then i close the production order in transaction code co02 co02 if you want to learn about sap production planning get in touch with learn to win website is www.learnw.in my mobile number is 9940 thank you thanks a lot